who need this is a five-sided pop-up screen tent is amazing we men pulled it out of the box unzipped the bag and popped it up for the first time in about a minute we even figured out what the two extra poles were for and installed them before reading the instructions. Who needs instructions? It does come with instructions on paper included in the steak and rope bag and sewn into the storage bag on a vinyl sheet. We should have read him first but being men who were being watched by women we had to show them how smart we were. When the tent began to blow away in the wind is when we discovered the stakes and ropes. The wind was blowing 15 to 20 but the stakes held it. And we also used two of the provided ropes tied to the grab handles to stake it down on the windward side. Later the next day we had a monsoon, almost an inch of rain. No problem for the stake down gazelle screen tent. No roof collapse and framework destruction like I've witnessed at other campsites. If you are looking for a new screen tent because your current expandable one collapsed and self-destructed in a rainstorm this is the one to get. Get the larger one if you need a bigger one. It is very well made, as everything is described, and I could not be happier with it. We put a whole 6 foot long, 4.5 foot wide attached benches picnic table inside it and four of us sat at it with no problem, and this is the smaller version. Everyone that sees it is amazed. I've opened it and closed it for several people and they stand there in jaw-dropping amazement just like I did when we first set it up. I've had other versions of screen tents before and they're more difficult to put up alone, some weighed more than this one and almost all eventually had the zippers fail. The gazelle has the best zipper in the world, YKK, I'm confident the zipper will stand the test of time and was one of the reasons I chose this above other similar products. Also, the flaps at the bottom of the tent walls that are designed to keep bugs out really work. I've been in so many screen tents where they flap in the breeze and let bugs in. The tent is heavy like others have said wouldn't want to backpack with it but it is manageable and will fit in most vehicles. Just pay attention to the dimensions to see if it will fit where you need it to go. As someone reported in the answered questions and I verified closed up in the bag it is 63 inches long and about 7 by 7 inches at its thicker end. I circled it with a tape measure and got a 24 inch circumference. It fit back in the bag after I set it up and used it for a few days. It was slightly bigger than when brand new out of the bag but I had to fold it up on the ground by myself and did the best I could. Probably could have done a better job if the picnic table was available. But I could do it all by myself. Watch the video, it shows how to set it up and take it down. It is easy to be excited about such a great tent after having so many fail during my life. I ain't young anymore, I remember black and white TV on 12 inch screens. I highly recommend this screen gazebo, it is not a cheap and shoddy product like so many others. I was looking for a small screen tent to quickly put up at night and take down next morning on a two week camping road trip so glad I found this one. Try it, you'll like it. Update the 6th of February 2018 it's been over a year since I started using the gazelle and it still continues to impress me with its ease of setup and durability. I've used it year round because I travel north from the summer and south for the winter.
had it set up for over a month last fall using it to store things that used to be stored in a small shed that was damaged by a hurricane. I've used it in several campsites for almost a week at a time and it still looks almost as good as when I first received it. I try to set it up in shade if possible because I've seen what the sun can do to cloth after long exposure and besides it's cooler there. I use 10-inch steel landscape spikes with large washers slid on them to stake down the gazebo. I've used this arrangement on tents and outdoor carpets through the years. Easy to pound in and remove with a claw hammer and they don't bend or break as some plastic stakes do in rocky ground. I also have long plastic tent stakes each with a 10 foot length of nylon cord to stake out the sides if needed when I'm in an area that doesn't offer protection from strong wind. Some tips that may help I put the bottom and top of the two poles that go on either side of the door into the pockets first then I join the poles in the middle and snap into place. Just seems easier to do than trying to put the pole in once the two parts are joined together. This may already be shown in the instructions or the video but I haven't read them since last year. I have also found out that it's best to stake the gazebo down on all points before trying to pop up the roof. I usually make sure it is dry when I put it away and sweep it off before collapsing it. If put away wet I set it up to dry as soon as I can to prevent mold or mildew. I am still very impressed with the gazebo and continue to recommend it.